Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Jim Dar's Tone Shifter Channel, where we show you how to take any guitar and make it sound and play better. So join me in the Guitar Cabin, our musical sanctuary from day-to-day -day life, as we explore another really cool guitar project. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Have you ever gotten an amplifier that you just didn't like the way it sounded. For me, I like a very clean amplifier. The typical mid-60s, early 70s Fender sound to me is the best. That's a personal thing and yours, your ultimate tone might be different. But I bought a couple of amps over the years. This Bugera here as an example. The Bugera V5 is a tube amp with an EL84 power tube and a 12AX7 preamp tube and my thought and hope was that I could get a tweed type champ sound out of it but unfortunately that just wasn't the case. I had also purchased some other amps in the past with an EL84 same type of configuration except this amp was a push-pull and um, I didn't like the way it sounded either. It was dirty and dull, so I was blaming it on the EL84 when in fact I was overdriving the power amp from the preamp with the 12AX7 that we'll talk about in a couple minutes. I regretted buying the amp because it always sounded dirty and muddy to me. I put the amp away and every once in a while, maybe once or twice a year, I'd p pull it out try to get the sound I wanted out of it and in frustration just pack it back up and put it in the closet. I got to thinking and had done some research online that what I needed is more headroom. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So the quick tip is if you're looking for more headroom why not consider changing your preamp tube from a 12AX7 which is typically what's in there to a 12AT7, a 12AY7. I actually switched this one from the 12AX7, which was put, putting out uh, a gain factor of 100, to an AT7 that put a, a gain factor of about 60. And that basically allowed me to soften the tone of the amp, and I'll, I'll play it for you in a second. And it give, gives me more headroom, more, a, more of a cleaner sound, more clarity of string to string note separation. So let's have a listen. It's a simple fix. All I had to do is uh, take the tube out, make sure it was oriented properly, took, took the 12AX7 out, put the 12AT7 in and it got immediate results. It's something that you can do. Some safety tips that are very important Unless you know what you're doing, don't mess with an amp. Take it to an amp tech and he can swap tubes. He can tell you from that circuitry or she can tell you from that circuitry what tubes you can put in to help soften the sound. If you want to change the tubes yourself, make sure you know what you're doing. Never ever pull a tube out of an amp where the amp is plugged into the wall outlet. Don't ever open an amp up unless you know what you're doing because even unplugged, a tube amplifier and another amplifier can carry lethal voltages in there. So you know, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that when you t touch the tubes, if you're going to try to do it yourself, the tubes are cool and not hot, otherwise you'll get a nasty burn. You want to make sure the amp's turned off and unplugged when you do that, and you'll hopefully get some good results. Let's see what this telly sounds like. Okay, let's see how the Bagheera sounds with the 12 AT7 as a preamp tube. This is the middle pickup. The neck pickup. Nice clear 
crisp sound. Um, of course, this is a clear, crisp sounding T style guitar. Um, but let's play a little bit more. I think you'll see that it's a smooth tone. Got a lot of headroom before it breaks up. I'll hit a couple of hard chords here. a great little practice stamp to get some good tones out of. in it, the CLT-300N for the neck, and the CLT-300B for the bridge. Okay, so let's review. A 12AX7 or a 7025 preamp tube uh, has a gain output of 100. A 5751 preamp tube has a gain output of about 70. A 12AT7 has a gain output of about 60, which is what I used in this example. And a 12AY7 has a gain factor of around 40 to 45. So the traditional 12AX7, you get a traditional uh, type output that, in my opinion, sounds great when you're driving 6L6s or 6V6s. If we switch to a 5751 preamp tube, we get a smoother, uh, good sounding mid-range, uh, nice lower end to it. With a 12AT7 preamp tube, again with a gain factor of 60, we get a uh, lot more headroom before it starts breaking up. We get a cleaner, clearer tone and an overall chimier response to it. The 12 AT7 was one that I had kicking around, and I actually think it did a good job. It termed, at least for me, an amp that uh, was unusable into a great sounding little 5 watt, 8 inch speaker powerhouse. Um, I can use it for testing different pickups on. Talk to your amp tech, they can help you figure out which tube is right for you based on a particular amp's circuitry. So that's it. Have fun. Experiment. That's another tone shifter quick hack. Try it out. Make sure you know what you're doing. Take it to an amp tech if you need guidance. And enjoy. <laughs>